A battle at the Pailangi. The Māori Gods, Book 3. Every iwi has its own version of the great battle of the gods at Te Pairangi. This summation has been gleaned from the teachings of Te Mātorohanga and Nepia Pōhuhu. Portions of it have been taken from extracts of learning from the Whare Wānanga of Hokianga. Those who did not agree to the separation of their parents directed their anger at Tāne Mahuta, Tāwhiri Mātea, Tūmatauenga and others for heedlessly forcing their father and mother apart. From that time, anger and a bent for war has been a part of the human disposition. A long-held dispute within a family is a terrible thing. It's anger that never wanes, and it is a dispute that still pervades the sky, land and sea. So for Fido and his supporters, the separation cemented a resolve to wage war. That gave rise to the battle at the Bairangi. As with all battles, great generals emerge. In the case of Te Pairangi, they were Fido and Tumatawenga. Their hostility and bravery allowed the battle to rage with no quarter given or taken on either side. Tumatawenga obtained a special weapon. Its name was Te Akerautangi. It was a taiaha that had four eyes, allowing it to see anything coming from any direction. And it was elaborately carved. It had been formed so that it cut silently through the wind. to parry any attack from the enemy and to smash heads or any other part of the body. The combat flowed one way, then the other, until it became clear that Tumatauenga had gained the upper hand, but not without the help of others. Matakaka turned out to be a worthy combatant. In back-to-back defense with Tumatawenga, they warded off attack after attack. From another quarter, through ancient Karakia, Tupai, Tumatahuki and Tukapua raised the sacred fires that rained down on Fido Te Tipua and his army. Even with Ruo Moko waging war from below ground, the outcome was turning in favour of Tumatauenga and his war party. By battle's end, Tumatauenga was victorious and Fido Te Tipua and his faction were overtaken. Tu was appointed god of man and god of war. The militia was responsible for protecting the community. Fido sought refuge in the underworld, and to this day he continues to wage war on mankind in the form of diseases and pestilence. Tu 
Matauenga has many names, too numerous to list them all. To the angry one, to the fierce one, to who sends his opponents to the underworld, are just some of his titles. To Matauenga has many names, too numerous to list them all. To the angry one, to the fierce one, to who sends his opponents to the underworld. And so each of the houses in which anger, higher learning, black arts, and the protection of man resides came into being, and they exist still as surely as day follows night. <laughs>